So I'm going to demonstrate um, what this uh, step up and step down converter can do. So it's got a regular USB plug. Um, let's see if we can get that in focus right there. And then we got a, a what is that? Small USB plug right there. Oh, trying to get that in focus here. Oh, let me try. Sorry for that. Trying to record with my phone overhead. So I already got one running off my uh, power strip, a uh, US, small USB plug. So it's got a small display showing the volts. Um, USB just runs off five volts. So I can crank this down to 0.5 volts all the way up to, I believe it's 24. I haven't tested it yet. So um, I'm just gonna wire up this um, DC motor I got from a salvage printer. Um, it's got a pinion gear on it, just some leads. Um, this is clearly marked positive and negative on a terminal block. So it says, right now, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 0.5 uh, volts. So I'm gonna crank it up to one volt. This is 1.1. And the motor's spinning. It's 1.8 already. I'm cranking it up to, usually most things run off between three and five volts. Just crank it up to five. I'm assuming I can crank it up to at least 12 volts. So I'm at 5.7 right now. It's spinning pretty good. Let's crank it up to Something I would run like a 3S LiPo on for uh, RC car reasons. So uh, let's see if we can get a one, one point. There we go. 11.1. It's spinning pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. So it's, you know, it's easy. You can. Crank it up or down. Just a good little uh, piece of piece of kit um, on the workbench, just to test stuff out. Um, thanks, thanks guys for watching.